The Mon Valley extends from southeast Pittsburgh, surrounding the Monongahela River, to West Virginia. Once thriving steel and coal industries, which supported the area and its residents, have declined over the past two decades. The industrial base of the Mon Valley economy has suffered. The area lacks a strong foundation for redevelopment and growth. Pittsburgh itself has redeveloped, centering on light technology and support industries. This has helped sustain a rebirth of employment and economic progress. Outside the city, however, growth depends heavily on the transportation network serving each location. In the past, the area's economy was well served by water and rail transportation. Today, an efficient highway system is needed to provide the accessibility so critical to future growth. This is the major goal of the Mon Valley Fayette Expressway. The Mon Valley Fayette Expressway project is a pilot program of the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, the West Virginia Department of Highways, and the Federal Highway Administration. It involves approximately 70 miles of roadway, which stretch from Interstate 376 near Pittsburgh to U.S. Route 48 in West Virginia. The project seeks to connect the Mon Valley with the surrounding interstate system and the other major population centers in the Northeast, reducing commuting and transit time and increasing access to communities and industries. In conducting this project, Turnpike engineers began by looking at the broad picture. During the past two years, the Turnpike completed the first part of the project, the Corridor Feasibility Study. A steering committee of public officials and community leaders advised engineers on what roadway development would best serve the region. From their input, as well as open public meetings and a careful evaluation of the area, engineers began outlining general plans for the project. Corridors, approximately a mile wide, were drawn, showing origin and destination points. These corridors are broad in scope and serve to avoid major obstacles, following the general character of the terrain. After the corridor feasibility study was completed, the Turnpike Commission began a more detailed study in the second part of the project called the Design Location Study and Environmental Impact Statement. In the past six months, engineers have defined several different road alignments known as highlighter lines within the selected corridors. At this stage, the map scale and details are 10 times larger than before. The highlighter lines are based on the topography and information from existing environmental sources. They avoid places such as public buildings, cemeteries, churches, and airports. In most cases, two to four lines are developed for each corridor. Each line represents an alignment in width approximately the length of a football field. This includes the roadway itself and the right-of-way. These lines represent a number of alternatives which will be studied in greater detail. Engineers will now be gathering information from five key areas, the public, the environment, traffic conditions, the economy, and engineering factors. And you will be an important part of this process. From the beginning, the Turnpike Commission strongly encouraged public officials and citizens to become involved. A series of public meetings have been scheduled with officials and residents from the study area. This will allow us to explain the project and to learn about your present and future needs and concerns. Information received from the public during the meetings will be key in deciding what proposed alignments will best work for the area. During this part of the study, the Commission will also analyze environmental conditions and features. For example, sensitive water resources will be identified. 
farmland and wetland surveys completed. Historic and archaeological sites will be reviewed, and engineers will examine how roadway changes impact on noise and air quality. This environmental analysis is subject to review by over 100 local, state, and federal agencies. Several traffic studies will also be done. Study teams will conduct roadside interviews with motorists, take traffic counts, and review accident histories. These will help predict future traffic patterns and volumes. The Turnpike Commission will gather data on the region's economy, primary industries, how its residents are employed, and the major sources of income. By understanding how the economy functions, the Commission can better determine what alignments will best serve local businesses and promote development. Extensive engineering analyses will also be conducted. Through on-site inspections, surveying, mapping, and reviewing past studies, engineers can better identify the potential advantages and problems of each of the alignments. The Turnpike Commission will incorporate the information from the various study areas in its overall evaluation. The existing and future needs of southwestern Pennsylvania will be thoroughly assessed before any changes are made. The second part of the project should be completed and all approvals procured in approximately two years. The final alignment will then be selected and the last phase of the project, or the final design of the highway, may begin. The Turnpike Commission believes that the Mon Valley Fayette Expressway is crucial to the development of southwestern Pennsylvania. With your help, we can have an efficient transportation system in the Mon Valley. A highway which provides better access, a foundation for future growth.